Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green with silver, official weight, 112 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one. 51 victories, including 30 big wins by knockout, 8 defeats. Damas y caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico, the challenger, former WBC international and silver flyweight champion, and former light flyweight champion of the world, Edgar. Wearing red with black, officially weighing in at 111 pounds. His professional record is a perfect one. 42 fights. 42 victories, including 36 wins by knockout with three world titles in three weight divisions. From Barrio La Esperanza, Managua, Nicaragua, former middleweight world champion, former light flyweight, World champion, he's the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC flyweight champion of the world, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Edgar, una persona. Roman. Ok muchachos, les di las instrucciones en el vestidor Miren, los dos traen el calzón un poquito alto Así que los golpes aquí va a estar, van a estar perfectamente bien Buena suerte los dos Y van, vayan a la esquina para esperar la campana Gracias, eh Chocolatito told us yesterday That when he was at 105 and 108 pounds People kept paying him not to fight them So he had to go up to 112 pounds Now he's getting paid to fight on HBO With the thought being that he could be the first flyweight star since Carbajal and Chiquita Gonzalez, the first star around this size since then. Round one begins. And Roy Jones, they may be small, but they sure do attract a lot of sponsorships. I don't know when I've seen as many sponsor patches on one pair of trunks as is the case for Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Yeah, being that he's from Nicaragua, Jim, uh, Jim, and he knows that he's on HBO, I'm sure all of those people wanted to take full advantage of this opportunity. Uh, it means a lot for his country. It means a lot for anybody, including probably some of the Japanese people, because his manager is Japanese, right? Right, his promoter, uh, Mr. Honda, Akikido Honda of Japan, who has been a long-time force as a promoter there. You might think of him as the, the Bob Aram or Don King, so to speak, of Japan, and they like smaller fighters in Japan. Mr. Honda latched on to uh, Chocolatito at the beginning of his professional career, and Roman says, he's like a father to me. Without him, I wouldn't have a professional career. He's fought many of his biggest fights in Japan, and in fact, there's a common opponent for Sosa in the green, and Gonzalez in the black, named Akira Yaigashi. Very tough fighter. Gonzalez beat him to win this 112-pound world championship. Yaigashi won a decision over Sosa to take Sosa's 108-pound title, and that standard of comparison is part of what makes Gonzalez a big favorite in the fight, and he's landing some thunderous shots early on. Early on, Jim, he's making contact in a major way, just like the little big man that he is. And down goes Sosa from an accumulation of punishment. No, it was a push there, Jim. He didn't go down by the punch. Okay, but he was so they're pushed. not calling it a knockdown. No, he was pushed. What a beautiful display by Chocolatito so far, cutting off the ring, using his skills and his talent intelligently and aggressively. When people talk about intelligence, intelligent aggression, this is what it looks like. And the two used to spar back in the day, or they sparred once back in the day, and it was before Chocolatito came into his own. He is outclassing a very good opponent in the first two minutes of the fight, putting on quite a show. Now Sosa begins to get his legs under him and seems to be a little bit more squared away than in the first couple of minutes when he was being rocked time and again by Chocolatito's combinations. Like we'll, we've seen with Triple G coming up in the main event, the precision of the power punching is a, an especially dangerous combination. Oh! 
Until now, Nicaragua's Roman Chocolate Tito Gonzalez may have been one of boxing's best kept secrets. When you run your record to 42 0 with 36 knockouts, attention will find you. Tonight, he makes his debut appearance on big time American television, and we are thrilled to make the introduction. Copy box numbers in round one Gonzalez, 34 of 62. 21 of those punches were power shots. Sosa limited to 7 of 63. Just an all-around brilliant first round for Roman Gonzalez in his first appearance on big-time American television. And by the way, how fitting that he makes this coming out kind of appearance in the forum because it was here in 1974 that Alexis Arguello scored one of his biggest wins, winning the featherweight world championship with a knockout of Mexico's great Ruben Olivares. Olivares himself, one of the all-time greats. Gonzalez mixing the jab, straight right hand, uppercuts, left hook. Showing you virtually every tool in the toolbox already in a round and a half, Roy. Yes, he is really putting some real leather on Edgar Sosa. My goodness. Sosa's hurt with a body shot right there. And showing the ability that he doesn't want to let his old ex bar partners just wipe him out. Trained by Alexis Arguello, he, he reminds me of Julio Cesar Chavez, the daddy, Roy. The way he places those oh, shots. Goodness. Down goes Sosa on a perfect right cross. Coming off the jab. Beautiful shot. Siete. Ocho. Caliente. And Sosa has already taken a beating. Yes, he has. Five minutes into the fight. <laughs> oh, Joe. What precision. Like laser guided missiles. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Sosa's a veteran. He knows the score. He's got heart and guts. He's going to continue to give it a go. But the look on his face tells you everything about his level of confidence as he goes back into action against the machine, the machine that is Roman Gonzalez. What a set of skills. Everything that Gonzalez hits him with hurts. And Gonzalez knows how to double up, triple up on that left, just like Alexis Arguello. And it makes him very deadly because he has power in both hands. The referee should stop it right now because uh, Edgar Gonzalez is done. Edgar is out of here. And Raul Caiz is going to stop it on the recommendation of Roy Jones. Edgar Sosa, man. Killer show by Roman Chuck Letito Gonzalez. Any questions? American boxing audience. Wow. More like a demand. More. I don't know what else an offensive fighter could do, Roy. There's not much more that one could do except bring an axe or a hatchet in the ring with him. <laughs> <laughs> in the second round, Gonzalez was 38 out of 68. Over the... Ladies and gentlemen, here at the fabulous Forum of Englewood, 
The end comes officially at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. As referee Raul Caiz Sr. has to call a halt following three knockdowns. The winner by TKO victory and now solidifying his claim to be recognized as pound for pound the best fighter in the world today. Still, the WBC flyweight champion of the world, Roman Cook.